Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Age of Darkness. Final stand, playing with the Queen of Nothing. We are very soon going to face another Death Knight, and I am still not quite done with the whole clearing the map thing. Could just go ahead and trigger it right now, if I'm honest. I mean, it's not like we wouldn't have a crystal anyway, right? Actually, is that like a strat? Is that a thing? Could we literally just destroy the crystal right now and it's not going to hurt me anymore because it's going to have a death knight regardless? Why not just go ahead and choose which one is going to fire off? Oh, now that would be an interesting idea. And we would get extra dark essence for killing it, right? I am pretty sure that that's correct. Huh. Um, yeah. Let's just give it a shot. This might be stupid. This might be phenomenally stupid. It also might be brilliant. And those of you who don't accept that are probably just jealous of me and my brilliance. There we go. It's dead. All right, go boom. Yes, match boom. Big boom. Daybreak approaches. Here comes the same death knight we were expecting to fire. All right. So as far as I'm aware, no downsides. Yet. Doesn't mean there won't be. Just means not yet. Uh, okay, so now we've managed to get ourselves plenty of the dark essence needed in order to level up our units the rest of the way. Question is, what should we go for? Melee charge on enemies faster or reflect damage? I go with reflect damage. And then for you, siege units explode when destroyed? That only means that our siege units are expecting to die. No, inflicting stun could be really good and make them move really fast. So stun I see as potentially being really powerful. Moving fast means I can reposition quickly, but if we have enough of them, do we care? Just me, I have to time it carefully to fall back. I think we have to go for concussive shot. I mean, stun seems amazing. So there we go. That uses up all my dark essence, but officially we have fully upgraded all of our units. That feels pretty good, man. Feels pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and clear a bunch of this nonsense out. And of course, with uh, the Death Knight on the way, we know exactly where it's going to spawn. So we need to clear out as much of this area as we can and start figuring out where. Whoa! Crud, crud. All right, I didn't expect us to have to deal with all this. Hello. Good news, everyone. I have our blists nearby and ready to destroy some stuff. We'll probably Our lose a fire tower and maybe a couple other things, but I've got defenses, so I think we're going to be just fine. How are we doing over here? Well, uh, things are going boom in the night, or during the day, I suppose, technically. Um, bit of a risk of losing some units, uh, namely little guys like this. Yep, he died. Okay. I mean, these wraiths, if they're upgraded, do so much damage. It's just not fair. Um, all right, so they're taken care of. Let's go ahead and fall back. Let's get our Horrify taken care of. Let us go ahead and place down a quarry. I can't? Why not? What's the what's the issue here? We have a couple little guys we got to clear out or something? Because he's dead. Why is it not letting me place this? I have the resources, right? Huh, I can't place it on this terrain. Well, that seems a little awkward. Unless I'm missing something, that seems a little awkward. Very bizarre. Okay, well, I guess I take what I can get. In this case, it's 392. And then we go ahead and pull back. How are we doing up over here? Looks like we have mostly cleared this out. Let's go ahead and deal with these last guys. Who are probably, let's be honest, going to destroy this fire tower. There it goes. Goodbye. Lose all that vision, but it's fine. We can just rebuild it. It's not like I don't have plenty of resources to spare. Am I right? Now, as far as where we defend, let me think about this for a second. So if they're spawning here, they will likely have to go here or here. And they can't go here. So the only real option... How did these guys get here? Where they spawn from? Must have been like over here or something. They just ran this whole way. So am I correct in believing that this is the only place that they can attack me? I don't know if I'm correct on that, but it seems kind of like that. Um, we're going to place down a fire tower over here just so I have plenty of vision with which to place down more stuff. And we're going to do one here as well. Let's go ahead and pick up this gold. Now, the thing that could devastate me is if it turns out there's a, another way to get to my base, but I'm pretty sure this entire area is so walled off, it's the only logical conclusion. Pretty sure they have to go that way. They can't go this way unless... 
Let's test this. Is there a way to get through here? Because if so, this actually could be the next choke point. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is an opening right here. There is. Yeah, we went through to kill an elite, right? Okay. So, yes. That definitely is another option. Okay. So, they could fire here. So, knowing that that's true, we could try walling off this area and then have another fallback position, let's say, over here or something and have fire towers obliterating in this tiny little spot. That could work. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not against that. I'm not against that at all. Let's place down another fire tower so I'll have some good vision to work with. This gold is gonna be taken care of and we'll have even more coming in, not that I need it. Okay. Um We're gonna build both up, and at the end of the day, I guess it's not really that bad for me to have double walls in both locations. One, for this death knight, two, for a potential final wave. So let's go ahead and start placing some gates. We'll place one over here, I guess. One, two, three, maybe. Wall off here. Wall off over here. This does take a lot of resources to build, I'm realizing. This is, um, this is more expensive than I thought with this whole fortified wall thing. It's turning out that I'm going to wish I had even more stone supplies. Is there another source of stone that I'm not aware of? Well, there definitely are. Just like, ha am I not exploiting them already? Is that it? Really? Wow, that is actually kind of it. Okay, what about, uh, let's see, we could buy some stone using gold. Yeah. Go ahead and do that at least a few times. Sell off some of these extra resources. Doop, doop. Now, why is this stone a thing here? It's like I'm spending money to get stone out of my own stockpile. Doesn't that seem kind of messed up? Seems a little bit messed up to me. Uh, let's see. We're going to wait for this to finish, and then we're going to build up another set of gates over here as well. Okay, those are a couple of nice little fire towers. So let's set... Now, see, we can actually probably fit a lot of good stuff right here now that I think about it. Like, we can get some really good vision and range here, I think. Doop, doop, doop. Place a wall. Place a wall or two or three or whatever. Okay. And that's going to be good. Okay, so one defensive point here, one defensive point here. We do not have a lot of time to get all of our resources together, oh if I'm honest. Terms. Um, I really wish I knew what the exact path was going to be, because it would make a huge difference. Can we place another lumber yard over here for 22? Yes, please. Because we're kind of out of wood at the moment. We're about to get ourselves a lot more stone at the very least. Oh, That's man. good. <laughs> Plus, we can probably buy some more if I have to. Um, sell some of the iron. Buy stone, wood. Okay. I urge you the first time. And then, you know, it's time to go ahead and start moving a bunch of our stuff. So let's send a whole bunch of siege engines over here. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice those guys. And then let's send a whole bunch of other arbalists and stuff. In position. Down over here. Plus a bunch of units. Speak. Over here. We'll have our main army off in this direction. For now, we can send more reinforcements My in a little bit. Almost empty. Okay. Can you guys clear all this out safely? I think you can. I hope you can. Now, if I can build some more towers, that'd be great. A Grand Bellow Tower? Grand Ballista Tower. Here we go. It's got some pretty good range on it, not gonna lie. Um, but... Regular ballistas are much cheaper. And I don't need a ton of them, I don't think. A couple here will do fine. And then we need to be placing actual towers. Um, one here. One here. That helps a little bit. We we'll save the rest of our resources to go and build over here for the moment. I shall lead. But again, I feel like we should be able to place some really good towers over in this area, for example. And that can cover, like, the entire area as they're coming. Which seems decent enough. 
Okay, so this has all been cleared out. Good. We have extra arbalists and other stuff. These guys are all going to come down over here. Now, getting a fallback position may be a little bit tough, because I barely have enough resources to place down what I've got right now. But we'll see. Um, man, a Grand Ballista Tower over here would be nice. It's got longer range, too, which is one reason I love it. We're going to place one there. That's all the stuff I've got, though. Hmm... Sell off some of the excess stockpiles. Get some of that gold going. Can we get some more from our fish? Not there. A little bit right there. Every little bit helps right now. I need to be able to afford everything. Oh, freaking heck. I lose, always lose track of these dang things. All right. Um, we said we needed to place down some towers. We're just going to go for some simple brace towers for the moment. Let's do that. Death Knight approaches in 45 seconds. Reinforcements well on the way. We're going to have at least one really good fortified position. That much at the least, I can say. And if I wanted to place down some very cheap combustible walls, we could do that, and that delays them enough for the ballistas to get some free hits off. Case in point... Just place a couple like this, for example. And I'll bet you this distracts the crud out of them. Buys me time at the very least. And if it turns out I am wrong as far as where they're going, well, we have enough time to kiss our bum goodbye. Or at the very least, maybe relocate a few of our forces, you know? So let's see. We need to get some into this tower and some into this tower. Here come a bunch more of the Arbalists and Siege Engines. So that's going to be a handful to work with. Good. Oop, okay, the fog has arrived. A little bit early, but all right. Um, tower's about to be done, and we have what? L units slowly lose their progress toward emboldening. Really? You're going to make me lose XP? That just seems mean-spirited. All right. I'm really glad that we don't, at the very least, have, like, a bunch of flying enemies. Gosh, can you imagine how unpleasant that would be? Flying enemies who just get right over the walls immediately? Oof. 5,000 nightmares so far. Only 5,000? Okay, where are they going? They're all breaking off in this direction. Really? Okay. Wait. Uh... They're not going where I thought they were going to go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? They're going... We already confirmed this area was blocked off, right? Are they going here? No. They can't be. Can they? It's the only explanation. It's where they're going. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Okay, hang on. Upgrade all of those. Upgrade all of those. We've got a tower. We've already had a fight here. Go... Okay, we're out of money. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get some cash. We need to get some upgrades on these towers ASAP. And guess what I need to do? Uh, that's right. Send these guys up over here. And uh, this is where I wish I had double speed on my siege units because it looks like this is where all hell is about to break loose. And I am not ready for it. No, I am not. Mm okay. I can't believe it, though. Why? Why here? That just that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, uh, get rid of a couple of these arbalists out of here. All of you also get up in this direction. What about over here? Get a couple of arbalists out of this. The rest of you also go up in this direction. Now, the thing is, this is a super narrow spot. We've already learned this. So, it's not going to be great. Oh, no. All right, we're going to be placing down some wooden walls with the goal of buying time for my ballista tower to do a lot of damage. Because it's going to have an increase in range, and it should be done just in time. Let's not forget that our brace towers also have some exceptionally good range. At least we're going to be able to get these walls set up. I'll call that a small victory. 
We could just train a bunch of new units, I suppose. That would also have been fine. I can't fit much over here. We're going to have to rely on, like, all of our Arbalists and Ballista Towers, and that's it. What's under attack over here? I don't know. They got Giants. Great. Upgrade complete. Okay. Upgrades are done. Good. Ballista Towers go boom, boom. Uh, I mean, sort of. Where are my reinforcements? Dang it. <laughs> oh, no. At least we got stun on our ballistas. Hopefully that does a lot. But all I'm doing right now is buying time. There's nothing else I can do. Come on, Ballista Tower. Crush them. That's, that, we're definitely getting some casualties. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah. And we're getting full upgrades on these. They can hold four people each. That's pretty good. Oh. My. God. Look at this! Frickin' frackin' heckin' oh heck! Alright, uh, Arbalists here. Um, you Arbalists get up over here. Scratch these archers, they suck. I might even send them to the front lines to die, I don't care. But Arbalists take priority for the towers. By a long shot, Arbalists take priority for the towers. Okay, so starting to reach some of my walls. And, uh, yeah, they're doing some damage, alright. Now, here's a problem. I can't reach some of these Abyssal Artillery guys. I keep calling them that. I don't know why. Get you up here. Get you up here. Soldiers, back it up. Impalers up to the front. Hero up to the front. Oh, man. Yeah, we're in trouble, all right. <laughs> we're in so much trouble. <laughs> Uh, yes, absolutely take on the big giant guy. Holy crap, get the, get the big giant guy. That's the important one. He's got so much health. But we should stun him, right? Yeah, we can stun him. There we go. Okay, all Arbalists to the front. And I mean all of them. Hero up to the front. Get yourself some loyal guards. Impalers up to the front. If this wall falls, we have one wall to fall behind, and it's not much. The good news is, it looks like the big guy is going down. And we can keep him stunned using our Impaler, and it seems to do a pretty good job. I am, however, concerned that I see some sort of an area of effect horrify. That's fun. Okay, so we managed to break through one set of walls entirely. Can we get the flamers in position at all? Nope, not easily. Hero up to the front. Oh, God. And uh, for the record, we got 4,000 of these guys still to go. It's too, it's too narrow of a point. It's too narrow for me to properly defend this. All right, hang on. It's time to get some upgrades on all of this. It's time to place down an extra wall here. And maybe an extra tower or two. Uh, just not enough DPS. Our defenses are under attack. We're trying, though. Gosh, they brought another giant. Hang on. Prioritize that, because that's the thing that's going to be the hardest for me to deal with. My units can't handle that worth anything. It's got so much health, too. Okay. Uh, my hero apparently has run up to the front. It's time to use my abilities. Let's have her start holding the front line for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Please do not die. Okay, hero leveled up to level 9. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, wow, she's clearing through them, too. Look at her go. Holy crud, she's freaking going for it. Look at her go! Jasons, the queen of nothing's amazing! All right, pull back, pull back, let him get into range again. Okay, we actually apparently pulled them back so much, we're able to start doing some repairs. Dude, get back out there. Holy crud. Okay. Keep these things repaired. Keep going. There we go, there we go. Look at that. We're getting some free, some free healing. Oh, I love her! Marry me, queen of nothing! You're amazing! All right, pull back, pull back. Ah! Okay, 
get ourselves some more little guards. And guess who we've got? That's right, more of these. Mm-hmm. The giants, dude. They gonna hurt. They gonna hurt real bad. But we're burning them down as aggressively as we can. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ability, and if units die, then units die. Hopefully they start healing up my hero. Okay, we probably can't build anything over here. We can. Wow. Hold up. I feel like this is a scene from freaking Helm's Deep. It's like, how much time do you need? As much as you can give me. Uh, but I can't build anything that close. That's a bit too much. All right, making progress. Doing good, doing good. Oh my gosh, she is slaying. For real, she is slaying. All right, let's stick up over here in the corner for a second. We bought some time while we build out some more walls. Here we go. Okay, now it looks like it might just be little guys. It might be nothing but little guys left. My ballistas are absolutely crushing it. Oh my god, we might have it. I think it's ridiculous, but we might actually have it. You are freaking kidding me. All right, let's get some flamers up to the front. We'll get the arbalists up there in a minute as well. Look at them go, look at them go. And we got some extra towers in position too. All right, hero, get back up to the front. You're stuck, hold up. Go around. Get him. I wish I could see what was going on over here without this fog. I think they're just lined up to die right here. Like, literally, I think they're just lined up to die over there. The Ballista Tower is doing some serious work. We've got a couple thousand of these guys left to go, and look at us, look at us just demolish. All right. It's time to be risky. We're gonna start pulling forward at least with a few units, mainly range units who aren't gonna be just running in there to die. Oop, okay, here comes a bunch more. The ballistas are crushing it. They're piercing through so many of them. Okay, what are you doing here? You're a loyal guard, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that, put them back. And now I think we just sit back here and wait. And I don't think the, the night cycle even ends until this is over. Have I seriously been doing this for like 15 minutes? It's the longest freaking death night of my life, dude. Uh, yeah, I think we just go ahead and do, weirdly enough, a jump cut. Seriously, I'm just watching the queen freaking go for it. Holy crud, she's powerful. That, the piercing damage, that's what it is. If they stack up enough units with all of her guards, all four of them, five of them, sorry, doing piercing damage, is so good! It's outstanding! Daybreak approaches, that's it. Oh my gosh. She's almost leveled up again, by the way. That's how freaking OP she was. Jesus. Okay, new blessing. Um, units gain extra damage whenever they're low on health. Could be nice. Enemies slain have a chance of dropping resources. Probably not needed. Vision radius. Uh, I don't know if I like any of these too much. Last stand, maybe. I mean, vision radius can be helpful at times. Resources, by the time that this happens, like, eh. Well, okay. I mean, realistically, as we're cutting out the rest of the map, I, we probably won't need this. We should be doing fine on resources for the most part. I think last stand is what we're gonna go for. I don't love it, but it could result in some useful DPS upgrades once in a while, if nothing else. Could be useful. All right. Your command. So we've got a whole load of arbalists and a whole load of soldiers who would love to get in on some action Precise. and get some revenge against these guys, huh? So let's go ahead and take this entire army and go clear out the map again. In the meantime, all the ballista and such should probably go ahead and start moving back toward the main base, just so we have them in a position for an emergency response if needed. And um, I think we need to start looking for additional sources of resources because we kind of started running out there a bit, and I wasn't really thrilled about that. 10 iron there is pretty good. Uh, anything else that we know of? Yeah, there's probably some more over here. Sure, another nine, eight, whatever. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm just going to get whatever I can at this point. Um, and not worry about the rest. Let's also make sure we're getting plenty of vision where possible. 
I'm getting kind of probably too much iron right now, if I'm being honest, but it's okay. We did lose a giant gold pile, which I'd love to get back. But first, we gotta actually go deal with all this nonsense. And, ideally, embolden a bunch of these units again. We have quite the traffic jam, huh? Hmm. Orderly files, everybody! Goodness gracious, what's wrong with you people? Let's go ahead and pull out at least a couple more of these arbalists. The Why not? There we go. Everyone get over here. It's time to go monster slaying. This, by the way, is where I kind of wish that, like they are billions, we had kind of just an attack and, like, go hunt option. Right? That was a thing. You could just click on this and just kind of let them go. And as long as we checked in on them and they had enough of a death ball, it really wasn't that much of a threat. <laughs> you know what I'd like That's to find? Not. Additional sources of stone. Because that, that we actually had some trouble with last time around. Okay, lots of horrify on these units is going to be a bit of an issue. But we should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and place down some more fire towers. What? You can never have enough vision, right? And it just reduces the amount of fog we have to worry about and so on. Therefore, reduces how many enemies can spawn behind the front lines. Just makes sense. Kill what we can. I would like to know why so many of my units have not actually arrived. Because there's actually a literal traffic jam. Get the dang towers out of the way. Oh my gosh. All right. Unit pathing leaves a little bit to be desired, it turns out. <laughs> It's fine, though. It's fine. Um, let's just get this fire tower, get everyone in position. Then you guys... Oh my gosh, they're completely jamming this all up. Look at these silly people. Look at these silly people. Completely jammed. It's fine. Get over here. We're gonna be, co oh, we'll be fine. We're gonna be fine. You all get over here. And then get back down over here, and the Horrify effect should be going away. There's a lot more iron to work with. I don't care that much about iron. We should probably get down over here and just see what else is up. Undoubtedly. Um, I still want to try to, one, get the gold back, and two, clear this area out. Now, here's the thing. If I have vision over here... No, I don't actually have vision. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so I'm guessing I just literally can't build at certain corners of the map, but for some reason I've got vision over here, which means I can just place down a tower. Seems a little messed up, but... Alrighty then. I'll take it. I'll take 12. As many as I can get my hands on, it'll be fine. Sorry, that's a Homestar Runner joke. I'll take it. I'll take 12. It's probably a little bit too old for some of you young timers, if I'm being honest. It dates me a little bit. Ah, oh, good old days, HomestarRunner.com. Mm -hmm. It was fun times. It really was. Uh, can we kill you in one volley? Yes. So if we're really careful, the snipers, the arbalists, absolutely can clear out anything on their own. More points of interest? Boring. Not actually interesting at all. I'll decide what's interesting. Thank you. Yeah, they're clearing all this stuff out before anything can touch them. As long as we pay attention to them, they'll be a-okay. Um, in the interest of time to make sure things happen in this video, I'm going to go ahead and jump forward just a bit. All right, so I did build a concave of walls right here to try and deal with this giant as he spawns. I've got some ballista towers in position, a whole load of other things. Let's see how quickly we can take this sucker down. Stun him? I don't care about the horrify effect. That's completely okay. Uh, why are you guys running this way? No, like, really, though. Was I even worried about nothing? It turns out this is actually not so bad. He can't even break through a single wall. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sell this nonsense. Sell these towers, too. Wait. I assume my guys pop out. Yes, they did. Okay. That was worth a lot of dark essence. You know, it's almost enough to make me wish that I actually had a practical oh, use for some more Dark Essence, <laughs> but all right. That's Found some more gold, working fine on that. Realize what... Where'd you come from? Right. Uh, realize that one of the reasons we were losing a lot of gold production is this thing apparently got destroyed. There's still a crystal over here we can trigger when the time comes. So we'll probably want to do something similar to this guy, though it turns out if you have ballistas with stun, these things are not that hard to take care of. I can probably have a secondary force go and deal with them without much issue. Uh, hero, go and save my um, towers here, if you please. I'd really rather not be losing these fires. Gosh dang it, you couldn't even... Attack. You know, Miss Queen of Nothing, it turns out this is why you can't have nice things. Hmm? This is why you can't have nice things. All right, so the rest of these guys are just going to be a giant killing force then. Because it turns out as long as we have a few defenses, we're A-OK -okay dealing with the elites. And yeah, alright, so solid progress has been made this video. I'm sorry that so much My of it got taken empty. up just by one single Blood Knight, but that was a lot, With and me. unfortunately it turns out when you have that many enemies 
all getting kind of bunched up in the same corner. It takes a long, long time for the game to actually pr uh, move everything in position. I mean, good lord, even when the fight was a foregone conclusion, we were literally killing them faster than they could fill their ranks. <laughs> Which is a good problem to have, don't get me wrong. It's just, it was a little bit comical, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and start moving these units up in this direction. I think that'll be fine. Still no real stone deposits on the map, by the way. Like I've been looking for ways to boost that production up just in case I need it, and it turns out there's not a whole lot to work with. We could go for a little bit of extra lumber here and there, and I think that's fine just to be extra, extra safe, but yeah. Oh well. I think we might end up this video here. I hope that this ends up being an acceptable length. Hard for me to tell whenever I do jump cuts. It's one of the reasons I was trying to avoid it up to this point. But uh, for real, I didn't feel like I could justify spending that much time on a single blood knight. I kind of had to, kind of had to try to mix that up just a smidge. Can we get a fire tower building? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and start working on that. That actually gives me some immediate vision. Hello, found another elite. I forgot you were here. You look like a Protoss um, a dragoon. A little bit. He's an explodey boy. He's gonna be real fun to deal with. Yeah, so we should be fine on this. We're gonna get some horrify, but who cares? Undoubtedly. All is well. It, it should be, I say, should be mostly plug and chug from here on out for most of the game. Am I right? I mean, maybe. Should be. Um, only because all I have to do is just keep figuring out where to wall off before Blood Knights hit. But I'm also kind of curious how many crystals are left. There's one there, one there. No, wait. These two already cleared out. So at least one more Death Knight. We might actually be getting really close to the end of the game. I have no idea. Well, we're going to find out. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>